Hey everyone, it's Neve here, and today in this week's video, I'm going to be giving advice for, 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 for I'm going to be giving advice for first years. I did this video last year, and you guys really wanted a part two, so here it is. If you guys didn't notice already, I am wearing my merchandise at the moment that is not out yet. It will be coming out very, very soon, though. I'd love to tell you guys all about it, but I can't say anything at the moment, but stay tuned. I'm just going to jump straight into the video because I hate long intros. First question is, what do I bring to my locker? So what people don't seem to understand is, when you go to secondary school, on day one, you do not get your locker. Some people get it two days after they go into the school, three days, some people get it a week after, two weeks even. But you just don't get it on day one. And if you do, that's just a rare sight. First day you actually go into the school, all you need is two copies, one math copy, your homework diary and pens and pencils. That's literally all you need. Just want to say that that applies for first, second, third, fourth basically every year not just first year i see some first years coming in and you'd swear they packed their kitchen sink with them but once you get your locker assigned to you bring in the books that you have for the classes the next day and then in the morning go to your locker put the books in for the classes that are not until the end of the day and during the day do you want to shut up i'm trying to film a video orla please do not break your back Please, I can imagine some first year coming into school on day one with all their books in a bin liner bag. Okay, next question. How to get over the awkwardness of a new school where all the years above you know people? So basically you're saying that you don't know anybody in your new school, okay. When I first went into first year, I did have friends from sixth class, but I thought I wouldn't be in their classes and I was actually correct. I had one girl from my primary school who was in my class and she was so nice. So me and her kind of stuck together. And she knew people from our class and we just like got a wee friend group going there. You think Think that oh I'm going into school like I'm literally gonna have no friends everybody makes friends in secondary school and if you don't make friends after two or three days you need to put yourself out there and say something to somebody and you need to go up to somebody in your class and say can I hang around with you or start talking to somebody because if you don't after two or three days you're gonna have a problem boys in first year oh yum my kind of cup of tea mm, can I just say one thing um please 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 Please, please, do not play fight in the halls, boys. I know this girl is on about relationships wise in first year. If you want my advice, do not get into a relationship in first year because most likely it will not last and you will get a heartbreaking cry every night. Honesty is policy. I did not have a lover in first year, thank God. Little frigid Navy in first year. <laughs> I did not want anything to do with boys in first year. I thought boys were icky and now I can't resist boys. Like, they, they, come here. <laughs> Like it's fine if you're just gonna like kiss someone like that's fine but like if you're gonna like fall on go on to a real relationship you're a bit young for that love you just came out of the womb so yeah um just a wee tip for boys yous aren't funny play fighting in the halls don't scream yous are basically just miniature versions of like third years and second years or do I get used to a new routine? Okay, so I'll actually tell you the story time. time. Here's a story time of how I got like used to my routine. In first year I was hella organized like I was Excuse me. So you get your timetable on the first day and the first day I came home I got a sheet of paper and wrote out my timetable and stuck it on my wall in my bedroom So in the morning I check my timetable and see what classes I have the first three books I put them into my bag along with the homework I get excuse me. Oh, hey <laughs> Along with the homework I get and it's just like so much more handier to have a timetable handy in your room There also is disadvantages of having a timetable in your room waking up and seeing the classes you don't want to go to that day. Yeah, it is a pain, but you get over it. And when people say the homework you're assigned that night, do it. Just do it that night because it is so, so much more handier. I done that in first, second and third year and it was the best thing I've ever done. Sometimes you would be sitting at the table for like an hour and a half or two hours, but it is so worth it then the next day when you have nothing. Also, when you do do the homework like on that night, sometimes you would have like no homework for three days. Handiest thing ever. I'm going into first year and everyone says the older years hate us. Is that true? We don't hate you. We just get annoyed at you sometimes because here's some reasons we get annoyed like you just stand in the hallway sometimes like in the middle of the hallway for no reason that's like cutting a line in Disneyland like you would get so pissed please make sure you smell okay because some people don't know what deodorant and body spray is and then some first years try show off in front of the older years which I don't understand why they do that is it like is that is it like a trend I, I don't know I, I literally don't know I don't really have that big of a bother with first years like if someone came up to me and asked for help I would obviously help them but last year like some first years showed off and I just like, like why just sit down hate is a strong word <laughs> next question someone just said tell them not to be annoying little because they don't know 
Now me if that's very strong language for them first years. Should I wear makeup? If yes, what should I wear? No, 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 no. Do not wear makeup. Do not. We do not need chavs in our school. We have no chavs in our school. That is a rare sight, right? We have, well, some people do fill in their eyebrows, but they don't make them like black. They make them like natural, which is good. Fair play to the first years in our school. You were decent enough with the makeup last year. But I swear to God, some schools have children with full face, contour, blush, mascara. Literally, why would you bother? Get back to your bed. It's seven in the morning. School starts at nine. You're out at seven doing makeup. I walk into school looking like I just came out of my coffin. I'm not even joking you. Do not wear any makeup and if you are, mascara if you want to even bother with it. I don't even wear mascara to school. I used to, not anymore. I'll actually show you what I put on my lashes going to school. Can you see that? I don't know if it's like focusing but I got it in deals for like 150 and I've been putting it on my... Oh, oh. Sorry, it's a moth. <laughs> just focus on my crotch. <laughs> it is like a hair growth treatment thing. I love it. One of the best things I've ever bought. Are you able to change subjects? You are able to change subjects um, after a week or two, but you can't change it like at the end of the year or like during the year, if that makes sense. Like you can't change it like three weeks before exams, but you can change it after a week or two if you don't like it. Sometimes you might not be able to change it for the fact that there's just no room in the class. If you notify your principal or your vice principal early enough, you should be able to change. Like I did HE for like a week and then I went to German and I'm so glad I switched because I cannot sew for the life of me. I would burn down the kitchen in the school if I tried to cook. And I love my German teacher and I love the language German if I could pronounce the words. I can write it, but I can't like speak it. Hello, ich heiße Neil. Ich wohne in Donegal, Ireland. Ich bin 15 Jahre alt. I'm speaking German in a Spanish slash Russian accent. That's the way to go in life, boys. I have German teacher would be so proud of this. I know her children are watching this. Why is that? I know her children are watching this, cool. So can you like show her that clip? Because I'm kind of proud of myself for speaking German. So, hello. <laughs> can you put up a picture of the bag you recommend? I'm not gonna put up a picture of it. I'm just gonna show you love because I have it. Also, I see a comment there. Someone saying, "Is a Jansport bag too big?" Yes. Some of the Jansport bags, some of the Jansport bags are hella big, but some of them are kind of small. Do you know the ones that just has one like big pocket and then like one wee small pocket at the front? Get that one because that's that's the right Jansport bag. If you get the ones that has like the big chunky part and then you have another pocket and then another pocket and then a wee small pocket that can literally hold nothing, too big, too big, literally too big. No. Oh God. Lovely jubbly. I just broke my wardrobe. Here is what my second year bag looked like. One big bag and then this little pocket. Actually, do I still have stuff in here from second year? I do! I have my canteen money! Yes, boys! That'll buy me like one chicken nugget, but anyways, still helps. What's in here? I'm about to show you the evolution or evolution, what's that word called? Of all my secondary school bags because like, You'll just see how big of a first year I was. Oh my God. Catherine, if you're watching this video, I am so sorry, but I'm about to raid your room, love. Do not get a bag like this because you'll be able to fit like one pencil in there. This used to be my school bag, but it was far too big. This is a well spec. Oh, no. I have found my first year bag, boys. Do you wanna see this? This is um probably the best bag about. I definitely, definitely recommend getting this one. Like, if you don't have this bag, are you like, like honestly, like check <laughs> check out for a bad boy. Look at him. He's a weapon, him. I'm ready to hit the disco. Look at me. I've got my fake tan in the first pocket. My fake nails in the second pocket. Yeah, this is a bag that I don't recommend getting. I wouldn't be surprised if a first year walked in with this kind of bag. Is that like an army bag? I don't even know what this is. Par is that a parachute? What is that? Yeah, no, that's an example of what not to get. This was my third year bag. Oh. I just exposed myself. Yes, I was watching my own video, leave me alone. I'm actually excited to get a new school bag because like, I haven't got one in a while. I'm gonna sell those ones if I can clean them. Yeah, if anyone wants my school bag from Depop, follow my Depop below. It's just Neve Gal, it's the same as my Instagram. I'm filming a video, do you wanna say hello? I'm on video. No, I'm filming a video, do you wanna say hello? Um, I don't mind. Hello? <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta go. Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you, bye. Bye. So that's Ethan.
So yeah boys, that's basically all the questions I have got for uh, this video. So I hope this helped very much. Uh, I'm actually going to go live and try answer a few as well right now. But that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to read my description below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I freaking speak so fast, my lord. Ugh.